Terrorists don't need an excuse to terrorize. They're not looking for an excuse. They tell you their rationale in advance. They're doing this for the jihad because you are an infidel. We don't need to offer them up some new rationale that they don't claim for themselves. We don't need to blame the victim to blame the use of free speech for the violence against us. It's like blaming a woman for wearing a skirt for provoking a serial rapist. Ezra Levant speaking out on an issue. Freedom of speech is something he fights for. And you can hate the guy as much as you want. You can disagree with him when it comes to fighting for freedom of speech and running cartoons and, and, and this whole issue. He is right. You know, NBC, Associated Press, CBC, CNN, Globe and Mail, even the Toronto Sun, all huge news organizations uh, who are happy to say Je suis Charlie, yet they refuse to show the cartoons that apparently led to the death of 12 people. Well, yesterday's massacre was a direct attack on us in the press, a direct attack on freedom of speech, a direct attack on your freedoms at large. If ever there was a time to put the cartoons on air or in publication, it is now. And yet many in the media are falling like a house of cards. Steve Collins, managing editor of Frank Magazine, joins us this morning. Good to have you, sir. Hi. <laughs> you know, Morning. your magazine is the biggest, if not the only, political satirical magazine in Canada. Hats off to you for printing the cartoons. What was the decision at your publication to put them out there? Uh, I think people give us a lot of credit for uh, thinking that we may not do. We just did it. Um, you know, I, I think it's important to see what what the boys in the balaclavas are mad about. Uh, you <laughs> know, th this, this, is how we, this is how we understand the story, right? Yeah. And when somebody tells you not to do something, that's when you do it. Precisely. You know, your magazine's not always nice. Sometimes you can be downright mean. I'm, I'm glad I'm boring enough not to ever get into it. But uh, a lot of folks here, you know, Corin, Ezra, they've all made the pages quite regularly, and they would still fight for your right uh, to say what you say, even if your feelings are hurt. You know, yesterday it was Charlie Hebdo. Tomorrow it could be Frank Magazine being attacked, or it could be Sun News, or it could be the Globe and Mail. I mean, this is the time to stand up and they're not and so I think you know by not running the cartoons they're you know we're all it's hurting all of us at whole Steve can you hear me yeah I can okay. sorry I was digging the rant uh, <laughs> it's um yeah I I, I gotta say I'm, I'm I don't stay up at night worrying about if somebody's going to come and not get a joke and shoot me. Um, maybe it's because we picked a slightly safer country in which to do this. You know, mm -hmm. the, uh, Charlie got firebombed. We get sued. It's, it's a different magnitude of risk, you know. I guess it could happen. I hope somebody feeds my dog. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you can't worry about that. You got a job to do. And... You do, but I mean, I assume Frank gets its share of, of threats. I mean, do you ever buckle? Do you ever have to think, you know, as the manager, okay, I've got a staff here, um, we have to protect each other? Uh, well, um, I guess. <laughs> you know, uh, people that work for Frank have poor judgment. Uh, <laughs> the, this, this is the, the first thing in the job interview, I would, I would guess, you know? Like, we're, we're not careful. We're not tasteful. Um, and yeah, sometimes there are unexpected uh, bonus consequences. Uh, we're... Prime Minister Mulroney yeah, yeah. <laughs> once uh, expressed a desire to take a gun and go down there and do some serious damage to those people, meaning us. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a shock, but it was also kind of an honor, you know? Um, I'm also glad he didn't follow through. Uh, I don't like the idea of getting shot. Um, but mostly what he was doing was telling us we'd gotten to him, and we didn't let up. Uh, I don't know. I, a lack of a sense of humor doesn't, yeah. doesn't, give, doesn't give you the... Uh, doesn't give you the right to dictate my editorial policy. No, but unfortunately, sorry, you know, not everyone thinks like you. I mean, there are a lot of big newsrooms that either are buckling to advertisers and or the bigger corporate manager. Um, yeah. Do they undermine the business as a whole? I mean, put Frank aside, I mean, in the media as a whole. Um, you know, you got the CBC just, just last night on its national newscast 
rewriting the Prime Minister's comments. They took out the word barbaric because that's not a word that they like. I mean, when did we get in the business of overwriting the Prime Minister, who used the word very specifically for very specific reasons, and you've got the CBC, you know, editing uh, on the fly what it doesn't like? Yeah, uh, I don't know if you... If this is the decline of the business, this is the business, right? Like mm -hmm. advertising and corporations, that's kind of the, <laughs> that's kind of the deal here, right? We're uh, we, we've, or you guys do. We don't we don't have any advertisers. Uh, the corporation is us, so we're we're a little bit freer. Um, we can be a little dirtier. <laughs> yes, you can be, and entertaining. Uh, nonetheless, you know, last week, you know, or a couple of weeks ago, it was the movie The Interview, and, and Hollywood, you know, it buckled to not letting that uh, be released. It ended up coming out. Hollywood's silent on this whole issue. I haven't heard anything outside of maybe uh, Bill Maher um, talking uh, about this issue, but they're willing to fight for this, yet mm. quiet on this particular attack and to me the bigger you know this trend of you know yesterday it's the interview today it, it's a satirical magazine I mean are we are setting a pattern for ourselves if we don't stand up against this I guess I don't know. Uh, you know Seth's gonna make goofy movies um, I think Charlie's gonna be back with dirty cartoons uh, you, you just keep doing it you know like I, I, I understand one of the guys slept in and missed the whole massacre. So they've got at least one guy. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Uh, so what do you see in the future? Do you get the sense that there'll be more attacks? Do you, do you ever I worry? I mean, you, you <laughs> obviously put yourself in a, in a different uh, category, but you believe in what you do. You're willing to take the risks. You're willing to, to uh, get under people's skins, and you don't worry. You obviously have a very thick skin. Well, it's a matter of somebody else putting you in the category I guess um, look I'm very I'm very anti beheading please don't um, <laughs> if your feelings are hurt um, I can't even quite say I'm sorry um, examine your feelings there you go don't shoot no but you will run the cartoons are you gonna run all the cartoons or just the ones that oh, were published shit. Man. You, you, <laughs> you can't say that word on TV. Uh, so we've only got 32 pages, and you know we've probably got some other stuff to uh, to throw in there. We we won't be able to do an entire digest yeah. of, of of the cartoons. We're gonna try and go for some of the ones that we get because, quite frankly, my my French is not strong. Some of them kind of yeah. leave me cold. Some of them are. Uh, some of them made me laugh, and some of them I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't get it. Right, and so someone who does satire like yourself, do you do you see the need to um, do you see the need to pick up where these people have have been lost? Do you get the sense that you you know you'll have to pick up and maybe uh, push more in this direction? Uh, we'll push in whatever direction we feel like. Uh, you know, we've we've got dirty jokes to make. Um, we, we've got hilarious uh, Canadians uh, to make them about, and. Uh, I don't know, this this is a freak uh, occurrence, you know. Yeah. I, I guess it's always in mind that this could happen, but you know, ninety nine point nine percent of the time it doesn't. Hope it doesn't happen again, Steve. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much.